Hey everyone and welcome to Haste Kitchen. Now, this is one of these things which I constantly get asked about. It's the three course meal that gets you out of the kitchen and with your guests rather than slaving away for the whole evening. This is the perfect thing for New Year's Eve or any other time throughout the year when you have dinner guests at your party. I've made three simple recipes with these pan seared scallops with an apple slaw, this mussels linguine with a beautiful vodka and white wine reduction, and I've finished it up with a really rich Bailey's chocolate ganache. And along with these three simple dishes, I've been asked to pair up three drinks. And it's a big focus on drinking positive this New Year's Eve. So let's get on with our first dish. We've got these beautiful pan fried scallops. Okay, so we're gonna start this off with a really simple but tasty starter. Um, the whole reason I've done this one is, is it's, it's super quick, um, it's super tasty, and we're not gonna pack it with too many different ingredients. We're gonna keep it really light. So into one bowl, we've got one apple. So you just want them literally tiny little slivers. Grab ourselves a bowl, and into that we're gonna add our apple. We're gonna season, so a good amount of salt, good amount of pepper. I'm just using a garlic pepper here today. We've got some rapeseed oil. Good generous glug just over the top. And that's gonna be the basis of our dressing. So you're gonna keep it really, really natural. Now, scallop itself is a very delicate flavor. So you don't wanna chuck too many sort of intense flavors in there. And then over here, I've just got some beautiful little pea shoots. Another good mix round. And then lastly, we're actually gonna go with a little tiny bit of coriander. Another good mix round. And that in its simplest form, is your apple dressing. So I've got here eight really small scallops. You can get bigger ones, you probably only want, want two each. For something like the smaller ones, you're probably gonna want three or four each. Now, for quantities wise, this is enough for two people. If you've got more people coming to your dinner party, twos, your fours, your six, your eights, just multiply how many you need. Now, using a really sharp knife, I'm gonna just score just along the top edges with six little score lines. Now, the reason I'm gonna do that, when I introduce it to the pan, and I've got the butter going in there, and I'm basting it, I'll give it that beautiful sort of crusty top to keep the center really, really soft as well. We've got a pan, I'm gonna get that nice and hot. So we're using two types of fat today. We've got our rapeseed oil, a good glug of that to the pan, first of all. I'm gonna introduce the scallops. These are only small, so you need them on there for literally one and a half tops, two minutes, and we're just gonna flip them over. So this is the point we're gonna introduce our butter. We've got 10 to 12 grams of butter. Pan away from you, drop your heat, and then you're just gonna baste that over the top. I'm just gonna put them over to a board just to rest off while we serve this one up. This is the type of recipe where I don't wanna be sat in the kitchen all night. That's taking one to two minutes, maybe three up tops to do the salad as well. It means I'm back in with the dinner guests enjoying the evening with everyone else. So on the bottom of our plate, we're just gonna add a small amount of our dressed apple, and then finally a few of our little scallops just around the outside. And that there is your starter ready to go out to your guests. Now we know that's a really light starter, so we're gonna pair that up with a really interesting drink that's also just as light and really refreshing on the palate as well. So we're gonna use a hay club whiskey. We've got a couple of splashes of orange blossom. We've got some cold brew green tea, a little bit of lemon peel, give it a stir, and that is gonna go absolutely perfect with our starter. So your starter's done, your guests are nice and happy. Now with this sort of thing on New Year's Eve, remember when we're making these drinks is to drink it in moderation, all right? Not loads and loads of drink. It's all about drinking in moderation, enjoying lots of different activities on that evening as well. So I'm gonna do something that's really, really simple, links on perfectly with the starter, and we're gonna do some mussels in a beautiful um, creme fraiche, white wine, and a little bit of vodka sauce. So I've been along to our fish mug, I've got these beautiful, Brancaster mussels. Everyone gets a little bit scared of mussels, there's no need to. Clean them in ice cold water, take out the beard, which is the piece of string which they grow a harness to. You're gonna give them a good scrub around the outside of the shell. Any that are already open, discard off. Any with cracks in, discard off also. So you can see they're all fresh. They'll come up for a little breather at the moment, but you give them a little squeeze, little flick, and that'll close back up again. We've got three shallots. Just gonna chop them in half and just really finely slice them up. We're gonna have a few pans going on here today. So you're gonna get your large pan up to heat, and over here we've got some boiling water. I'm gonna introduce some linguine here. Now I've got some pre-done linguine here. It's all about trying to get that cooking down to an absolute minimum. This takes literally one to two minutes just to heat through. Right, pans up to heat. Small amount of rapeseed oil just on the top, and we'll start softening off those shallots. Give that a good stir around, and you just wanna get a nice bit of color to those onions. Seasoning, good pinch of salt. 
good pinch of our garlic pepper, a glass of white wine. And just let that simmer straight through the onions themselves and that will really start to soften down. Now while they're bubbling down and reducing, we've got some fresh tomatoes over here. I'm just gonna literally just chop them straight in half. So they're softened down nicely. You can smell that white wine really going through there. We can introduce our mussels now. These are going to take two to three minutes max. We have got two cloves of crushed garlic. Another good stir around. And now we're going to add a very small shot of vodka. Now place your lid on top for around one to two minutes and making sure all those mussels are starting to open. So we are three to four minutes in and we're pretty much there. This is such a simple classic, really, really tasty dish and no dinner guests don't mind waiting four to five minutes. It's when they're waiting 45 minutes for the main to come out that it completely ruins the whole idea. So off with our lid. We've got two large tablespoons of our creme fraiche. We're gonna give that a good mix round and then linguine straight in the middle. I'm just gonna give that another good stir round. Now we're gonna finish that off with these beautiful tomatoes. The reason I didn't put them in earlier is that you want them to have that little bit of crunch in there, that beautiful sweetness. You don't want to be overcooked inside. We're gonna finish that off with some flat leaf parsley. That's done, let's serve the main course up. And there we have it. You've got my mussels linguine with a beautiful vodka and creme fraiche sauce. Look at that, five to six minutes and you've got a perfect restaurant style dish. Let's go and make a drink that's gonna pair with this perfectly. So for our second drink, I'm gonna show you how to make a Tom Collins. So we're gonna add 50 ml of your Tanqueray gin to a glass, juice of one whole lemon, three nice chunky ice cubes, a dash of sugar syrup, and you're gonna to top that off with a little bit of sparkling soda water. And that is our drink number two, the Tom Collins. So good. So this is the last dish. Myself and the wife always end a dinner party 100% with chocolate-based dish. Now preparation is key with this one. Prep it two hours in advance or the day before. That way you've got limited time away from the table and the party. Just got to grab it out of the fridge and serve it up. So what are we making? We're gonna do a dark chocolate, hazelnut and Bailey's ganache. First up, medium pan up to heat. When you're happy that pan is nice and hot, you're gonna go in with one cup of thin cream. One tablespoon of glucose syrup. Into that, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. You can just use one vanilla pot if you like. Give that a good stir around. I'm gonna add a couple of shots of Baileys. Grab yourself a mixing bowl, and into that, you're gonna crumble in around 200 grams of about 70% dark chocolate. Try not to go too much darker than that, because it'll be really, really bitter. Over here, we've got 100 grams of hazelnuts and now using the residual heat from that actual mix itself we can just pour that straight over the top now just give that a good stir around and the residual heat is going to melt that chocolate through perfectly now the smell from this is insane you've got that like vanilla and you've got that dark chocolate and the bailey sort of scents coming through there this is going to be one of those desserts that once you've made it once i can promise you you'll make it again and again pop them in little bowls into the fridge for a couple of hours ready for your dessert Let's get on with a drink that's going to pair with this absolutely perfectly. Into your mixer, you're going to add one shot of espresso coffee, two large ice cubes, half a teaspoon of fresh honey, and a shot of Baileys. On with your lid, give that a good mix up. That is a Baileys espresso martini. And that is the perfect way to end this meal. It's so, so good. There we go, hopefully you enjoyed this one. It's been a bit of a different one this week, but I thoroughly enjoyed doing it. Remember, this New Year's, have a really good time, but you haven't got to overindulge. Enjoy good quality food, good quality drinks, if you want to know more about the Diageo range, click in the description box down below, which takes you straight through to their website. Please copy me on the Haste Kitchen. I love to see all your recreation. And remember this year, drink positive. Have a great new year, recreate this, and also do this for your dinner parties throughout the year. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next week. Cheers then, bye-bye.